wow. Cheese ice cream. Let's go. Today, we're gonna start with some street tacos. Oh, yeah. And then now uh, we're gonna explore our local neighborhood that we're staying in here. We got a tip from a friend of a friend <laughs> uh, to try some traditional pre Hispanic drinks. So we got a restaurant pinned, we're gonna check that out a little bit later. We've been hearing that every morning when we wake up. Salsa. Oops. Oops. But spicier the better, I think. Oh, that's a good bite. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm. Seems better than yesterday's. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yay. The ones I previously had here um, were just sausage. Um, but this one is actually like really charred, really smoky. And actually that extra salsa have really added something to Yay. it. Yay! So we're winning today. Awesome. Okay. See you later, my friend. See you later. Have a good day. You too. On our first day uh, here in Mexico City, we actually just went for a little stroll and we walked past this beautiful building and it turns out it's a library. Um, it looked really cool from the outside, so I checked it out on Google, saw some pictures, and it was even better than I expected. We're not going to say much in there because it is a library, so we'll be... Yeah. But we'll get some really good shots, hopefully, because uh, it looks epic in there. Yeah. Necesitas un gafete, un permiso. Oh, wow. Solamente es el día con la cámara del teléfono. Gracias. Okay. Out of the library, we have these little uh, outlooks over the city. Down below, they have this uh, walking garden. Such a cool vibe in there. It's like Harry Potter meets. New York City Loft meets. Is that what I said? You said prison. Meets a prison, yeah. <laughs> a uh, little bit, because yeah, all the like. There were some areas that were very prison like, but yeah, uh, yeah it was so cool. It's so peaceful and quiet in there though. We liked it, we definitely recommend it. Yeah.
told by our friend to come and try these drinks. They are traditional pre-Hispanic uh, Mexican drinks. So our waiter here just suggested that we try the uh, tejate and the pozole. We'll see how it is. I'm really excited. Um, they are alcoholic. Not alcoholic. Not alcoholic. No. Even yeah. <laughs> I don't really love the taste of alcohol, but I'm excited to try something refreshing. Apparently the flavors are really unique too. Um, some of them are spicy, some are like the consistency I read of like a Wendy's Frosty, um, which was really interesting. So I'm really uh, intrigued to see what these turn out to be like. Okay, so our drinks have arrived. Super excited. So this one here is the pozole and then this one here is the tejate. So this bowl feels cold, the drink is cold, you're supposed to take the little stir stick, stir it, and then drink it straight out of the bowl. So I'm excited, this is so unique. Pozole in a bowl. <laughs> Pozole in a bowl, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. crystallized bits in it. It's almost like sugar, more watery than I expected. I, I expected it to be like a really creamy drink. Cereal milk, that's really what it is. So if you look closer in here, you actually see there's little bits of cacao beans blended up in here. Um, and the more I drink it, the more I'm reminded of like a Milo, the drink. <laughs> wow, that was so fun. It's such a unique experience. I love that. I don't think we would have ever known to try something like that unless, you know, a friend recommended it. Even the uh, the taste, or sorry, the descriptions of these drinks online, yeah. they just don't sound that appealing. But right. once you come in and actually try it, it's like... It's the experience, yeah. really, in the little bowl and the yeah. whole thing. So that was super fun. And then in there, we were obviously filming with our new GoPro. So it's, it's very interesting because we're getting a lot more yeah. from it. Our waiter was super cute. He wanted um, our autograph he asked for <laughs> and then he wanted a selfie with us. So that was super cute. Again, we're so new to this. We're not used to stuff like that. But yeah, he was so giddy and excited. It was so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out yeah. to you, Diego. I was like the, the peak of our day meeting yeah. you. So yeah. thanks for the great experience. Oh, 
park and I was like, huh, looks fun. And we went in, they were super nice. We went with his recommendation of queso, which we've never had before. I would never. But... I know, you would never, <laughs> but I'm always down to try something new and whatever the locals recommend. And then we went with pistachio, which you had your eye on. And we always like pistachio, so mm. I'm excited. First bite's gonna be pistachio, so it's not gonna be too different, but I'm excited to get to the queso. Delicious. Creamy. Lots of pistachio bits in it. We've been craving ice cream for like a week now. Um, we just keep forgetting to bring it home with us or finding a place to stop. So I am so excited to try it. Mm. This is like a nice creamy slight taste. It's very good. Yum. Cheese ice cream. Let's go. Like I like it. I don't really get much cheese. It just tastes like um milky. Milky, vanilla y yeah, milky is probably like a really creamy milk, I guess. I was expecting it to be salty. Mm. Uh, Oh, actually, I do like it, but I was expecting a little bit of salt, and I love sweet and salt together, so I think that's what I was hoping for, but it's still good, and now I can say I've tried cheese ice cream. <laughs> yeah. You get cheese? I, I get cheese for sure. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not salty at all, but it definitely has a cheese flavor to it. Maybe you need to try again. Maybe I need to try again. And it was very subtle for me, but I liked it. Like a mozzarella? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really interesting. I yeah. do like it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I got mozzarella and I was expecting like cheddar. Queso. I think, yeah, like yeah. I think that was the difference. We've been seeing a lot of local vendors selling chips and we were meaning to try it but we didn't really it's really in busy areas that we've seen it but we just saw a little store with it so we decided to give it a go we love jalapeno chips back home so figured why not try it here got a very green one that's good it tastes very like homemade and fresh without a lot of added preservatives. You can really taste the potato. Salty, a little spicy. Love it. It's great. <laughs> I just want to take a moment to appreciate just how colorful Mexico is. Like, just looking around, I see green, blue, yellow, purple, this peachy orange color more blues down there the greenery it's just so lively it's so fun like this is not what it's like where we come from especially considering it's winter six months of the year back in canada mm -hmm. and so the skies are also gray but i don't know it just something about these colors just brings you to life here makes you feel happy yeah
stick around for that and uh, we'll see you on the next one.